हेलो गायस वेलकम टू दीडियो लेक्चर ऑन सीरीज फिजिक्स इन पेट्रोलियम इंजीनियरिंग ब्रॉट यू बाय पेट्रोलियम फ्रॉम स्क्रैच सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन वन ऑफ द मेजर एंड यूजफुल टॉपिक ऑफ पेट्रोलियम इंजीनियरिंग फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट इज फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स एंड वट आर इट्स इंपॉर्टेंस इन पेट्रोलियम इंडस्ट्री सो फ्लूड मैकेनिक्स इज द ब्रांच ऑफ साइंस विच डील्स विद द बिहेवियर ऑफ फ्लूड्स वेन दे आर एदर इन मोशन और रेस्ट and why we need to study fluid mechanics because we all know petroleum is a fluid so the concept of fluid mechanics are heavily used in each and every subject of petroleum engineering whether it's surface tension or capillary force in reservoir engineering or whether the use of bernoulli's equation for evaluating the wellbore wellbore performance and calculating the pressure losses in wellbore or whether its application in artificial lift system or even the flow through pipes even the flow through pipes is governed by the poisson equation that is nothing but a fluid fluid mechanics and the settling time of storage tank that is also application of stokes law and term, terminal velocity again fluid mechanics and even the rheological properties of mud that are based on viscosity is also an application of fluid mechanics in petroleum engineering and don't forget offshore engineering whose main foundation is laid on buoyancy and archimedes principle so if you want to be a rock star in petroleum engineering you need to be great in fluid mechanics so let's start from scratch so first of all first of all what is fluid how we can say that anything is a solid or fluid well the answer the answer to this question lies in one thing shear stress now what is this shear stress now for this see there see here in this figure a force is acting in this direction so when you resolve this force into its component one perpendicular to this plane and another parallel to this plane now the component which is perpendicular to the plane will result in normal stress while the component that is parallel to this plane will result into shear stress so shear stress to tends to cause a deformation or in material by slippage along a plane that is parallel to the imposed stress so stress which cause deformation along the plane on which it is acting is known as shear stress while the normal stress causes the deformation along the perpendicular plane of action so how does this shear force help us in distinguishing between solid and liquid see it in this figure you can you will understand so it is it is like this when a shear stress is applied on a solid it will deform for a limited time while in fluids case the fluid will continue to deform as long as st uh, stress remains applied as we all know solid is rigid so at some point the shear stress will not be able to deform it while fluid goes on deformation this same shear force is related to viscosity we will see later how it is so we we come on a great definition for fluid we can define fluid as a substance that cannot su sustain a shear stress when at rest so now we will see some basic properties of fluid so first of all density which uh, we all know is nothing but mass per unit volume of a fluid some of the common used units are pounds per gallon pounds per feet cube kg per meter cube gram per cc and P psi per feet and their unit conversion is written here you can see that 1 gram per cc is equal to 0.433 psi per feet cube psi per feet and that is equal to 8.35 pounds per gallon and 62.4 lb per feet cube and 1000 kg per meter cube don't worry about the unit conversion we will cover it in detail in other video lecture series very soon now the second property is specific weight specific weight in density we used mass here we will use weight or you can say the term of force per unit volume so specific weight is nothing but density into g g is acceleration due to gravity now the third property is specific volume 
which is defined as volume of fluid occupied by a unit mass or you can say that it is a nothing but reciprocal of density now the fourth important one property is specific density it is the ratio of density of fluid to density of a standard fluid here remember one thing in petroleum engineering during calculation the standard fluid is water for liquids and for gases the standard fluid is air this point is very important as many guys make mistake while calculate in calculations involving gas specific densities so that's all for today's lecture in next session we will study viscosity and type of fluids and rheological properties of mud so see you in the next time thank you take care